That would be one situation. One thing we need to be very clear about is that when we get saved, forgiveness for the past is guaranteed. Okay? I want to show you some scriptures because some of you are going to need them. Matthew chapter 12 verse 31. I just want to ask you a question. Do you think that when Jesus taught the multitudes for three days and then held the healing service, do you think all his teaching was about healing? No, I don't. Some people have got the idea if you're going to have a healing service, you've got to teach on healing. I don't believe that's true. God confirms the word. Whatever the appropriate word is, God will confirm it. We've had some of our greatest meetings of healing when we didn't say a word about healing in the message. All right, Matthew 12, 31. Jesus is speaking. Therefore I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven men. What is the one sin that will not be forgiven? Is it adultery? No, it's a blasphemy against hell. Every other sin will be forgiven. That includes adultery, homosexuality, fornication, and anything else you'd like to tack on at the end of that list. Thank God. In Acts 13, and really we need to emphasize this, you know, there are a lot of Christians in the church who really wonder whether God could ever forgive them. Acts 13:39. Paul is speaking in a Jewish synagogue about Jesus. And he says in verse 38 and 39, Therefore let it be known to you, brethren, that through this man, who's this man? Jesus. Is preached to you the forgiveness of sins. And by him everyone who believes is justified from all things from which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. <laughs> by the law of Moses, you could not be justified from adultery. But by believing in Jesus, you can be justified from everything you could not be justified from by the law of Moses. Is that clear? That's good news. Incidentally, you need to know the meaning of the word justified. Uh, I say, and you've probably heard me say this, when I say I'm justified, it means I'm just as if I've never sinned. All right, but you can give it a lot of different ways. I'm acquitted. The verdict is not guilty. I'm reckoned righteous. I'm made righteous with God's own righteousness. That's what it is to be justified. 